good morning vlog. Happy September 14th. If you've been watching my videos or you know me in real life, uh, you know that today is my one year anniversary for working at Wayfair. To preface, if you are new here, I am Rebecca. I work for Wayfair. I work in the credit recovery department. Uh, so basically trying to figure out where issues arose and how, like whether our listing is incorrect, if the supplier shipped the wrong thing and that's on them, if the carrier shipped something incorrectly, basically trying to determine those issues, uh, working directly with the supplier rather than with the customer. I made a video like I think two or one or two weeks after I started there or here, I guess, um, to kind of give my perspective on it. But now it's officially been one full year with Wayfair. Pop in, share my perspective after being with Wayfair for one full year. Um, I did make this video a bit ago and maybe I'll watch that to kind of recap the feelings. Um, I figured I'd do this while I was working to get the full vibe in. I do still have a lot of the same perspectives that I did when I first started, but they are, I would say, more developed now, I guess. Uh, realistically, I was very eager to get this job last year since I kind of did go through the ringer <laughs> trying to find um, a job that worked well for me. Um, I do still believe that this is the best job I've ever had. I'm not making as much as I was when I worked at the post office and I don't have the friendships or the kind of like co-worker relationships I did as when I worked with, at Patriot Subaru. Um, so it's just, it's a hard comparison in that sense, but beyond that, the company itself and the way that things have been over this past year, I would say make me believe that this is the best job I've had yet. Wayfair has been really great. And like I said, I do have a lot of those same perspectives as I did when I first started working, but again, your perspective when you work somewhere for literally one week compared to a full year is very different. I still have yet to go into office, so I should share that. Um, we were, have been supposed to go in a couple of times now, but they finally pushed the date back to January 2022, which I have frankly enjoyed very much. Um, I would like to meet my coworkers at some point, and I think the benefit of working from home is that I kind of have the choice to choose who I'd like to see and meet and who I wouldn't. Um, where in an office you're kind of just stuck with anyone and everyone. Um, so that I feel like that will be a benefit of working from home. And I think eventually, I mean, they keep saying we're going to go into office at some point. So I'd like to trust that that might be true. Um, but hoping they do a hybrid schedule. Uh, with that, I would like to say that Wayfair does do a very good job of listening to the employees' opinions on things. Um, there's always a lot of, like, overall, like, there's a company-wide meeting. There's the operations services meeting, so we can go over our, like, smaller group along with the whole company information. And then we also have, like, our small credit recovery groups where we can go through and talk more specifically about what our team needs and all that um so i think it's it's great that the company is willing to hear perspectives and with our with all of the bigger meetings they do surveys and uh like questions so you can always ask your own questions uh and they go over what everyone asks basically um so it feels like they do genuinely care what we think as a commu community of employees rather than what the five people in head honcho office think, which is refreshing, really. It's nice to know that people care. And then with that, I will say like on an individual team level, um, I think the hardest thing working from home is trying to make yourself a known unit or a known person within a unit 
so trying to stand out as a like as a to be known individual in a place where if I don't reach out to someone, they are not going to know who I am unless I prove myself in an effort of work. It's nice to know that since I am a very productive um, and good worker that I am known that way, but it's another thought that if I didn't do as much as I do, I may not be as well known in this specific role. Um, so thankfully I am good at what I do and uh, I make myself known, but just something to think about uh, if you were thinking of working with Wayfair in the fact that if you aren't doing heaps of work or you're not more productive than other people or if you aren't the one reaching out it's it should be known that you may not be as well known uh so thankfully for me i i put myself in a position where i can be known but it's just something to think of especially like knowing the perspectives of other people on the team that have started from home um it's just interesting to think that like, I may feel very strongly about, like, it's nice to be recognized and I've been recognized as someone that is a hard worker and that does a good job, but it's because I am doing so much comparatively where other people aren't getting the recognition that they might deserve because they're not in an office where they can be seen and remembered. Beyond that, I think a negative part of working, at least in my position with Wayfair, is that I feel like there's a lot of waiting. To put it into perspective, again, so I obviously started September 14th. I was 100% ready to work my own work probably two weeks after, um, especially since the training period was uh, pretty intensive and just a lot of information just being thrown at you. Um, so realistically could have started about two weeks after I started. So I, let's say October, I could have started working on my own work. Oh, I have a team meeting to join. Let me, I'll get back to you, back for my meeting. Um, yeah, so where was I? I ended up getting work assigned. I would, I think it was... I want to say like June of this year so it was far too long basically um, it's just very frustrating to know that even though I was fully capable of doing my own work they couldn't have it assigned which granted isn't one person's fault and it's not like I didn't have work to do I could always help other people but um having my own work would have been a lot better been through two review cycles now and I do really appreciate the way that they do them um they are also very very drawn out which is another downside it seems like most everything with Wayfair is just a drawn out process like the review cycle process is about a month long in itself and then whatever compensation changes there are happen about a month after that. So the first review cycle I did I think was in October or November but um, after the winter review cycle you get a bonus and then if you meet the requirements and all that. And then after the summer review cycle, which we just did uh, in August, you get a compensation boost. So you get a raise um, of a certain percentage, again, depending on what requirements you meet and all that. I do qualify for a raise from the summer cycle, but 
the review cycle ended a month ago back in earlier August and then the compensation doesn't go through till September 26th so it's just a very drawn out process and the review cycle itself takes about a month long like there's something you got to do like every single week and it's like a bunch of like essays basically about different people about yourself about your manager so it's just it's dragged out far more than I think it needed to be. More positive note though, I feel like there's very at least on my team there's very open communication. So if I were to disagree with something my manager said, or I needed more explanation as to how they thought about something, it's very easy just to ask for that. Even above just my manager, her manager who's like my tier two I guess. Um, is also very willing to help explain everything that we need. Um, the head of the department is very willing to take time out of their day to also help explain anything. So it's, there's great communication. It's just that sometimes there needs to be so much of it where I feel like they can definitely be streamlined. I think the biggest pain point for me is how drawn out processes are and how things could be much more streamlined. Um, we have like four different all team meetings like every single month where realistically, instead of doing four meetings, four different meetings every month, we can have one longer meeting I feel like it just takes so much time out of everyone's day and to have a meeting at 11 a.m. just you have to stop what you're doing and as much as you like we could work through the meeting and while I try to I also want to know what's happening in the company so it's like I'm trying to pay attention to my work I'm trying to pay attention to a meeting I just think so many more things could be much more streamlined in that sense overall though I will say again Wafer has been the best job that I've had to date um I do see myself staying here for a while uh another benefit too is that at least my manager I can't say for every single one but my manager is very willing to help me grow um and pushing me towards different positions where I may not have um gone myself as much as I see myself in a leadership role I don't know if especially only being here for a year if I would be as willing as I am to go for that if it weren't for my manager saying no you can do this it doesn't matter how long you've been here you're showing what you're showing what we're looking for and that's a big thing so um to have a manager that pushes you to do things that you aren't doing is really beneficial and especially too since I know what I want and it's nice to know that I can want something and I can get it. Uh, some other questions I get often, um, is every position work from home? No. Um, and how I like working from home. Like I mentioned, I do really enjoy working from home. Um, and we are supposed to go back into office eventually. Um, when eventually is, it's beyond me. I do very much enjoy working from home and there are some full-time remote positions. Um, I don't see why the one I'm in couldn't stay that way. But as of right now, we are looking to go back into office. If you're looking to work at Wayfair, there are full-time remote positions. And uh, if you go on um, Indeed is usually where jobs are posted uh, for Wayfair, or if you go on the Wayfair site too, um, you can always search for just remote jobs. Um, right now, I believe at least all of the main positions are remote, and then uh, Boston is back in office and Utah is not in office yet either. I think realistically, right now, as long as with the process of coming back to work, they, they're doing a lot of surveys and they want to make sure that at least the majority is happy. Realistically for me, I think that if my team is in the office, I'd be willing to go into office. But if I'm going to go into office just to sit on my computer and do a Google Meet, 
I don't really see that there's much of a point there. Uh, as for my own future with Wayfair, I can see myself being in a more leadership position in the upcoming year, um, which is something that I feel very confident about. It's nice to know that my hard work does pay off where in other jobs I've had, it seemed that it didn't matter how hard I worked or how good I was at what I did. I'm going to be where I'm always, where I've always been, where with this job, I know there's growth options and I can see them and I can like touch them basically. Yeah, and then additionally in the future, I would love to see a more streamlined communication process. Um, and realistically, maybe time in office will help that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about my time with Wayfair that I didn't touch on, definitely feel free to leave those in the comments below. Um, also, my Instagram is very open. I know I've gotten a few DMs after my last video with questions, which I've just answered individually on there. But if anyone else has questions, feel free to again comment. Follow me on Instagram, shoot me a DM. Um, but if you like this video, like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I post a lot of day in my life with working with Wayfair. Yeah, definitely. If I missed anything, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video. I will see you guys next week. Happy anniversary to me and Wayfair. <laughs> um, cheers to another year. <laughs>